ever wondered what it would feel like to walk the same path as ancient Incas? Imagine embarking on a journey that takes you through the heart of the Andes Mountains, on a trail steeped in history and adorned with diverse landscapes. This is the Inca Trail, a four-day trek that leads to the breathtaking citadel of Machu Picchu. As you traverse this iconic path, you'll encounter remnants of an ancient civilization, from mysterious ruins to lush cloud forests. Each step you take echoes the footsteps of the Incas, connecting you with a past that's as captivating as the views surrounding you. But don't be fooled by the beauty. The Inca Trail is a test of endurance, a physical challenge that rewards the steadfast and the brave. Yet, with every arduous ascent and every winding descent, the journey becomes a memorable adventure etching an indelible mark on your spirit. Ready to embark on this extraordinary journey? Buckle up as we traverse the Inca Trail. Day one of the journey starts at kilometer 82, the official start of the Inca Trail. The morning is crisp and fresh, the air filled with a sense of anticipation. You begin your trek, surrounded by the verdant landscapes of the Sacred Valley. The path is relatively flat, a gentle introduction to the adventure that lies ahead. The Urubamba River is your companion as you walk, its waters glistening under the sun, a constant reminder of the life that thrives in these mountains. As the day progresses, you encounter the first Inca site, the Lactapata ruins. These ancient stones tell a tale of a civilization that once flourished, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire. From here, the trail starts to incline, the terrain becomes a bit more challenging, but it's nothing you can't handle. Your determination fuels your steps and every breath you take is a testament to your endurance. But this is just the beginning. The landscapes start to change, the greenery becomes denser, the mountains appear closer, the air thinner. The trail starts to ascend, the walk becomes a hike, and the hike a climb. The physical challenge is gradually increasing but so is the beauty that surrounds you. As the sun sets, you'll find yourself nestled in the campsite at Weilabamba, preparing for the challenges of the following day. The first day has been demanding yet rewarding, a taste of what's to come. As you settle down under the starlit sky, the excitement for the journey ahead is palpable. This is the start of an unforgettable adventure. Day 2, the most challenging day of the trek, greets us with the ascent to Dead Woman's Pass. The day begins early, with the first rays of sunlight barely piercing through the dense clouds. Our legs, already slightly sore from day one, are about to face a grueling test of endurance as we embark on the steepest part of the trail. The path winds upwards, zigzagging through the mountainside, each turn revealing a new, more breathtaking view than the last. The air is thin, each breath requiring more effort than usual, making this ascent not just a physical, but a mental challenge as well. As we climb, we pass through a series of ancient Inca ruins. These stone structures nestled in the mountainside are a testament to the remarkable abilities of the Inca Empire. They inspire awe not just for their architectural prowess, but also for their location, scattered strategically along this arduous path. The landscape is a symphony of contrasts. From the lush greenery of the cloud forests, we transition into the stark beauty of the high Andes. The foliage thins out, replaced by rugged rocks and the occasional burst of wildflowers. The temperature drops, but the sight of snow-capped peaks against a clear blue sky keeps our spirits high. Finally, after hours of relentless climbing we reach the highest point of the trail, Dead Woman's Pass. Standing at a staggering 13,779 feet, it's a sight that's worth every step. The panoramic view from here is nothing short of spectacular, the sprawling Andes range spread out in all its glory. The feeling of accomplishment is almost tangible, as we stand, catching our breaths and taking in the view. The camaraderie among the trekkers is stronger than ever, each one of us having conquered not just the mountain but also our own limitations. As you descend to the Pacimayo campsite, the sense of accomplishment is palpable among the trekkers. The day's challenge has been met, but the adventure with its surprises, discoveries and lessons is far from over. Day 3, often considered the most beautiful day of the trek, is a walk through history. As we traverse the trail, we encounter the remnants of the Inca civilization, each ruin holding a story of its own, silently whispering tales of a time long past. One of the first ruins we come across is Runkurakai. This semicircular structure perched high on the mountainside was once a tambo, a kind of Inca rest stop or checkpoint. Imagine, centuries ago, 
weary Inca travelers taking a break here, rejuvenating themselves before continuing their journey. As we continue, the trail winds through a lush cloud forest, a stark contrast to the rugged mountainous landscapes we've seen so far. The air is cool and fresh, filled with the songs of hidden birds. The foliage is thick and vibrant, painting the landscape in various shades of green. It's a breathtaking spectacle of nature's diversity. Further along the path, the ruins of Sayakmaka appear. This fortress-like structure, with its intricate stone walls and terraces, is an architectural marvel. Its strategic location offers a panoramic view of the surrounding valleys, a testament to the Inca's tactical brilliance. Here, one can't help but feel a sense of awe and respect for the master builders of yesteryears. The day's journey is not just about the ruins or the landscapes, it's also about the physical challenge and the personal growth that comes with it. The trail tests your endurance, your strength, your resolve. Yet with every step, you're rewarded with a deeper understanding of the Inca civilization, and perhaps even a deeper understanding of yourself. As the sun dips below the horizon, we reach the Winé Wena campsite. The name Winé Wena translates to forever young in Quechua, the language of the Inca. As night falls, the air is filled with a sense of anticipation, a tingling excitement for what's to come. Tomorrow, we'll reach the end of our journey, the magnificent Machu Picchu. The day ends at the Winai Wena campsite, where the anticipation for the final day builds. On the final day, the early morning trek leads us to the Sun Gate, the first site of Machu Picchu. As the sky begins to lighten, a sense of anticipation fills the air. Then, as the sun peaks over the horizon, the city of the Incas reveals itself in all its glory, nestled between the peaks of the Andes. A gasp escapes collectively, a testament to the breathtaking sight that unfolds. Suddenly, every step taken, every bead of sweat, every moment of exhaustion from the past four days seems worth it. This is Machu Picchu, a marvel that has stood the test of time, a testament to the brilliance of the Inca civilization. As we descend into the citadel, each stone, each structure tells a story, a narrative of a culture and a people long gone but not forgotten. Exploring the citadel, we walk through the Temple of the Sun, the Room of the Three Windows, and the Intihuatana, each structure a marvel of architecture and a symbol of a deep understanding of astronomy and the natural world. The sense of culmination is profound, as if we've not just trekked through the mountains but journeyed back in time, the Inca Trail, a journey through time, history, and breathtaking landscapes, leaves you with a sense of awe and a lifetime of memories.